Hello and welcome to Arca at Phoenix. It is Phoenix 2008, I think is the year. It's the old Phoenix. Um, I don't know, maybe the re maybe the year's off a little bit, but uh, old Phoenix, where we got some more grass planted out here, and uh, we are the number five. So we got some decent competition in here today, including, you know, some Coke Series driver. I think one, maybe two, I don't know. I uh, also got JP in here. I'm going to wish him good luck just before the race starts here in a minute. And uh, how am I feeling? Feeling kind of uncomfortable, to be honest. Um, I never quite feel very comfortable at Phoenix. I'm not sure. I always, like... Into the race session, like, yeah, ready to do some Phoenix. Like, I've been here plenty of times, and then I get here, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> feels kind of weird. I never, like, I don't know, I never feel completely comfortable here for whatever reason. Green, green, green. I don't know if I can even really okay, explain exactly why, but let's see if we can get a good qualifying run here. Try not to overdrive it. Very easy to overdrive. Very easy to get loose on exit as well. This is another case with uh, where, like, I don't know who set this all-time all-time lap here. It certainly wasn't me. I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe a previous race was done during different race conditions, but oops, I skipped one past the one I wanted. I just I don't feel comfortable. It's pretty much just as straightforward as that. It's not feeling great. Uh, session best. Let's see if we can improve here. I don't know. I just I don't feel fast. That's pretty much it. Uh, we'll see how we do. Oops. In the race itself. But I'm also not so sure if I'm going to be able to save tires very well. I know some of the faster guys were like putting their brake bias up to like 70 or something crazy, but like I just I, I don't think I know how to drive the Arca car without really low brake bias <laughs> anymore because I've gotten so used to the way that feels. Like, I kind of tried to use a higher brake bias when practicing, and I was just like, this doesn't even feel right. So, I don't know, maybe there's a faster way to get a hot lap driving in harder, but it wasn't working for me. I would need to practice that more or something. But, I guess that was an okay lap. JP's up there in front of us, and we've got some very fast people that have not put times in yet. So... Just kind of looking at the names we've got. Not really a usual time I race here. It is a Wednesday at current time 8.51. Off work today, so that's what has allowed me to race at the moment. Still got stinky <laughs> eye racing paint. I am currently unsponsored. <laughs> Advertise here. If you would like your sponsor on my car, Send an inquiry. Uh, I will, uh, send a message to JP. This race. And then I'll send him a secondary nice poll or something. <laughs> um, obviously, tire is going to be important. I'm kind of worried I'm going to overdrive it. I feel like I get on the gas too early through turn one. So I'm going to really try not to do that. I feel like it, it feels really tight to me. The setup does. But then, I'll, of course, you can't just, like, smash the throttle on exit either. So I don't know. Hey, Mark, hey, Mark if you're not, you're not making your second lap, lap there, my dude, you can click race, race now. now. You're the only one not ready to. Yeah, I'm on track. Okay, my bad. I was going to say nice lap. 
Don't want to bother him anymore. Anyway, P2. Why? Why am I always P2? Can session. someone tell me why I always end up P2 on my single monitor? Having to put an eye on the side of my head in order to drive. I don't know. I'm so Good bad at starting P2. So 12 to 1. Ratios of what I went with here. Personal preference. Steering offset negative 15. And then, like I said, it people are putting right best. Didn't matter anyway. Up higher, I have 62. Ah. <laughs> so some really fast people, like the two I thought was going to be way up there. He's down here in 15th. Justice did not. Someone. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't meaning to rush you, my bad. Someone may be racing under his account. Yeah, I don't know if that's what that means. But anyway, let's get out of here. Personally, I think all these oval tracks should be one lap. Go. Only on on You're on on the That's just my opinion. There's no tight going to the loud the during the drag. Treat them right and good luck. 14. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. P2. Alright, so we'll have JP on the inside. Should be just a single voice of ease. Follow the pace yeah, Garrett Hess on here as well. I recognize that name. You guys hear me? Yeah, we got you. It's like second gear start. I just feel off today, too. Maybe it's just specifically Phoenix, or maybe it's like I'm just like kind of feeling a little dazed today, like not even feeling very focused, I don't know. But I'm kinda worried I'm gonna do something stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay focused, so and, uh hopefully get a good start at least. Try not to race over my head. I thought I saw him going. Yeah, a little bit of a stutter. Trying to stay ahead here. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Oh, we got maybe some potential trouble back there. That was interesting. I think I file in behind this, uh, this guy. I don't want to tear my tires off right off the bat. So I'm going to let him go. File in. Now worry about long run. Trying to get this thing turned with the brakes as much as possible. Uh, try to drive on that razor's edge on exit. P3, the leader has just done a 28.7. The guy behind has just done a 29.0. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep my uh, expectations tempered here. So I just, I don't feel very comfortable. <laughs> like I keep saying, I know I sound like a broken record, but... I'm not gonna overdrive or anything, I think is the goal here. Just try not to tear the tires off of it. Get a solid finish. It's a bit of a scary call. They're broken, but they are out of the way at least. Trying to be aggressive on exit, don't get in the wall though. Dead sorry. I feel like I'm getting too close to the wall. I'm gonna push it too far. That guy is limping it to the pits. I had to kind of just trust him there, I don't want to alter my line. Uh, six is behind us.
I've seen him in some other videos before, I might just let him go. <laughs> Ryan Blackford manually disconnected. So apparently he has not had the race. Or whoever was maybe racing as him, I don't know what the deal with that was. Him saying, yeah, I'm totally Brian. Smoke down there, I think that's in the pits though. B3. This feels so tight, the setup feels so tight. I'm probably just overdriving it though. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Still inside. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Clear inside. Outside. Gonna get on my outside Still apparently. Down. An interesting decision. So I'm gonna pass on the outside. Go ahead if you like. You're making us both slow though. Go low. B4. The lap time was at 29.3. Clear. <sighs> Yeah, I'm just trying not to drive the tires off this thing. I just... I don't want to fight too hard for these positions. I don't feel comfortable today. So... I'm gonna pick my battles. P5. Loose there. I just feel like I don't. I'm not doing this right or something. I don't know. I, obviously, I'm doing okay. I'm in top five, and what I assume is a decent split. F number five car with a 4800 I rating. So some pretty fast guys in here. Moving backward at the moment, I'm hoping that I change directions here at some point, but if not, that's that's fine. I think top ten would be fine. Right now top five doesn't seem impossible either. Was that? 29.3. That was a bad corner. I don't know, I probably just need more practice here. Which, uh, I guess it's good that I'm here in the first place then, since this is where we're headed for the next league race. The K5 Championship. This, uh, I was always gonna do this race anyway, but... This also will function as some practice for that race as well. And uh, definitely going to need to figure out how to do some tire saving there. Because it's going to be a much longer race than this one. The frames are in the gutter for some reason. I don't know why it always does this to me. It kind of makes it hard. I would prefer... It's, it's bad too because it's not just like, oh, the frames are going down. It's like they're spiking. Like getting low and then they're fine and then low and then they're fine and then it's not good. Another terrible corner. I, I guess I'm gassing it up too early probably. I don't know. Got the four coming up on us. Probably gonna pass us. Let me see if I can be a little more patient. On exit. 
Yeah, that's better. Look at that runoff compared to last lap. I just feel really slow. I don't know, man. Car feels tight, it just doesn't feel good at all. Floor is approaching. We will hopefully find a nice, smart way to get around. I can let him go that much of a fight. Gosh, I just feel so slow though. That was a 29.6. Derek Justice coming up through the field. I see him in eighth at the moment. Expect him to probably pass me before this one's over. I have been able to pick up the pace a little bit. Not too much, but Your lap time was enough that the four is not imminently passing me. Lap times are pretty consistent. At least not the past couple of laps he hasn't been. corner there. Got a pass going behind us. Hopefully that'll delay me getting past. I don't lane up here. Maybe that's for the best. Maybe this is a better line. Down at the wall. Got kind of close there. The gap to Ruiz ahead is now 1.5. Give us a little bit of space behind for now. I've been able to pick up the pace here a little bit. I'm kind of getting a little bit of green each lap on the session last lap. I enjoy that. See how long that keeps up though. That was a uh, 29.7. That was slow. Very uh I could have rolled through that a lot faster. Slowed it down too much. They are fighting pretty hard back there, though. Top times are pretty consistent. That's helped delay the inevitable. Here's me uh, not dropping the anchor mid-corner that lap, whole tenth, gained. And it doesn't feel like I'm reeling anyone in up ahead at all. Feels kind of like I'm just slow. Not surprising, but still a little disappointing. Though there's still time. 
Still got about 14 laps to go here as we finish this lap. Maybe I can use throttle more to get more turn in the corner. Maybe I should be more aggressive with it. I'm kind of trying not to use up the right front, but maybe that'll... Maybe it's more on the right rear than I think it is. The setup feels super tight to me, but... Maybe there's less harm to it than I think. And using a little bit more throttle mid-corner. Alright. That 23 is still hanging on pretty strong behind us. Holding off guys like they're just as over that. That's not fantastic. Actually, it was a good corner, so what, what do I even know? I don't even know if I'm doing corners right at this point. Just trying to be smooth. Being easy on the throttle, getting back on the throttle. Seems to be an important thing here. A couple of guys ahead, though, they are uh, doing much better than I am right now, I think. Hands are kind of hurting. I'm squeezing the wheel too tight. Stop me if you've heard that one before. Consistency, keep it up. You've just done a 29.8. Mm, a little bit of close to the wall there. I think we got on the gas a little bit too soon. Too soon or too hard or both. Kind of predicted that that I'd be doing that. So you would think I would be able to adjust before it happens, but. Bad habits, I guess. Got ten left to go. Ten to go. Four fell off pretty hard, it seems like. Maybe it was uh, pushing a little too hard, and maybe it was just being side by side, fighting for position. Got his tires in a bad spot. I thought for sure he was going to pass me whenever he came up on me earlier. Hmm. That 23 is really holding steady, though. He's been at 0 0.3, 0 0.4 for a long time. Just kind of barely holding him off. We are very close on pace, it seems like. Lots of turn on exit, but it was kind of nice. Careful that it's not going to snap on me, though. That's not going to help things if it does. Oh, I gotta stop grabbing the wheel so tight. It's hurting. The gap to Ruiz in front is now 1.9. Your lap time was 29.9. That's a great turn on exit. Uh, I just gotta make sure it's not turning too much. But if I can uh, maintain it, it feels pretty good. Gotta use the rotation, but not abuse the rotation. Use it to my advantage, but don't let it hurt me. Lap time's pretty consistent. And I parked in that corner and then got loose on it, because that was a terrible corner. Whole tenth loss there. Almost two. So that's not great. Nice uh, end to the lap, though. Kind of brought it back a little bit. Five. Five to go. You can see, there's all that time I lost last lap.
Nothing for the group ahead, though. I don't know where you're was Some chatter. Haven't been very, uh, haven't been much talking on the chat this whole race. There, I just did not roll that corner very well. Again. <laughs> I'm taking it very inconsistently. I don't know what is happening up ahead, but I would prefer not my not to get wrecked by a lap car. With so few laps left in the race. Three to go here. Desk just slid. I wish it would not do that. I was trying to think where I heard the name Garrett Hess before. I think he's on the forums a lot. Maybe that's where I remember him from. Uh, You've got two laps to go. Seems like guys are really pushing late in this race, and maybe, uh, Getting into each other. You've just done a 30.0. There are three cars right on top of each other, though, past this lap car. That is going to be worth keeping an eye on as we come to the white flag. White flag did con. Oh my gosh, what is he doing all the way down there? He's got hot tires or something. He is having trouble controlling that thing, I think. And we will pull it out of the final corner. I cannot believe the top five. I'm very happy with that. After how uncomfortable I felt. Go high. Okay. Good race, good win. There's the flag. It's over. Sorry, seven. I didn't. Oh, JP that. got the win. Nice. Did really well. Oh, you're good, man. I, I just got the uh, over 13 at my most right now. I think it's 14 now. So yeah, sorry about that. Dude. Hands are hurting. <laughs> Feel like they're made of stone. No, I was having that fun. Well, pull on over. JP. Got some serious speed here today and got the win over oh, tires. 83.85. Hey, that's not too bad, I like. 83.85. I'll go ahead and post it. See if anybody else shares so I can compare. Excuse me. But, uh, all right. Not too bad. Uh, if we finished ahead of Derek Justice, which he's at 22nd, so that shouldn't be too big of an accomplishment, but he is very fast, but, but I was cooking it down on power, 81, 84. So it's looking like I should have pushed harder if I want to be JP Phillips. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So I can probably push a little harder if I make sure that I'm being more brave on exit two, probably, and getting on the right rear as well. So, maybe that is the way to be. Not sure, but uh, I will absolutely take a top five. Exactly where I was projected to finish. 20 car, fantastic run. Runner up, ahead of some really fast dudes. I wonder what happened to the two. We're going to find out here in a moment when we check out the incidents. So, I mean, I assume we will. We must have just left. Uh, lap three, we've got what seems to be a dive bomb. Yes, that's pretty far back. This is what Nick was saying happens here a lot. Serious dive bombs into turn one. Ten just way overdrives it, and then look what happens. Ten way overdrives it, hits the apron, and then gets up, even though the two is giving him a whole bunch of room, and then wrecks himself, so... Well, wrecks himself and about three others. Whoa, almost four others. So, not the greatest move there. Unfortunately, we had some innocent bystanders caught up in it. Oh, I thought this was the two. That was the 12. That's the 12 taking out the two. Wow, okay. That is frustrating for the two, I imagine. Probably just trying to save tires because 
Looky there, it's a lap three. We got a long way to go. You know, we're not getting cautions in the Arca series, and 12 just straight up runs them over. No real excuse for that one. And uh, again, someone's bad driving takes out multiple people. So, imagine two saving tires, the other guy decided uh, he was going to drive through someone. Didn't quite work out. Work, uh, work out. 18. And the wall on the straightaway. Like the car always trying to glue itself. That's nothing more than a blink. We got lots of blinking apparently. 11 getting a snap out of turn 1. You can't get a snap here. Um, exiting this corner. I felt like it was so tight here. But I think uh, if you're not careful, putting a lot of wheel in it can really get it to turn on exit like that. That guy's blinking, this guy's blinking. 17. Finds the wall. The real blue opens the wall. This guy's blinking still. 12. Does he claim another victim? No, the 18's gonna get loose. And, uh, I guess you can call it karma, maybe, I guess, for the 12. They both uh, continue forward, but obviously that's uh, not gonna help the cause. Uh, what am I saying? So 12 reaches him again. That was kind of weird. 18's kind of far off the wall. He's, uh, I mean, here you see where these guys are running. This guy's not running up there for whatever reason. And the 12 expects to be able, be able to be right here. So they kind of find each other there. I don't think the 12 did that intentionally, despite their previous contact. I bet he's not very happy with him now, though, but... <laughs> he's not going to have a chance to do anything about it, because 16 finds him. Yikes. A little bit messy back here. But uh, we got a huge time skip, and it's over. <laughs> okay, so not much happened after that, I guess. So, we will pull it into P5. We lost spots, obviously, so that's not necessarily great. You usually want to try to finish ahead of where you start, but... Uh, I never really felt too comfortable to begin with. I'll take it. You know, good practice for this upcoming Sunday K5 Championship, which I hope to be there. And, uh, hey, if I'm qualifying P2 in here, maybe I'll be able to make the show. I hope so. That's uh, the first big hurdle, but that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed some Arca at Old Phoenix. I'll see you next time.